Alrighty, let's see what the energies and messages are for today. We've got Mercury, we got Pisces, and we got 12. Bringing in the energy of three Pisces. 12 has its own. Let's see what the Queen of the Queen energy is for you, right? A lot of runes today. Mm -hmm. All right, we got intuition, the sheath, sun, crossroads, romance, the star, and harvest. So there is a lot about the seeds of intentions that were being planted, probably definitely around um, whatever you were doing around Samhain, wherever your focus was and stuff like that. I mean, you don't have to be a witch out here casting big, elaborate things in order to be manifesting stuff for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're getting that on your own. Sorry, I cannot help myself. I have to fix it. But there's definitely a lot of seeds of intention, a lot of romantic focus that was going on, um, a lot of divine intuition with the star and the sun there, like the, even at night you were guided, even in the darkness you were guided, no matter what, in light and in darkness, you've been guided in this one area, uh, you're cutting cords, you're trying to follow your intuition, you're trying to make the right decisions here, right? Got that messages, the Pisces energy. Pisces is a very wishy-washy energy. It's two fish with their tails tied together. They also give off that crazy cat lady energy. Mm. A lot of messages around food and hunger right now, right? That's definitely been, um, that's where a lot of the toxic programming from food comes from is, uh, yeah, well, back in the day, everything was around food. Everything was. Like, that would be like if you didn't focus on growing food, harvesting food, and uh, storing food, that was, that was your whole life during, from spring until the last harvest, was nothing but stocking up enough food to get you through the winter, right? That's what Thanksgiving was about. That was sharing at your peak abundance, right? Right, when you've just, you know, called back your, you know, herds and stuff like that. So you have all that extra meat going on. Anger and chains. Yes, feeling like they're a slave to this. Anger in chains. Meadow of vulnerability. A needing to be open up and being vulnerable. Get the energy of somebody who doesn't really... want to open up about how maybe chained up they are. I think a lot of it, yeah, is, it's still stemming from that food and hunger space, right? It's amazing how many toxic things we carry from food. They watch us dine on empty plates and drink from empty cups. There you go. Someone might not be eating. I don't know why I got hunger strike in my head. Ask yourself in five years, will any of this matter? Should be focusing on anything and everything that will matter in five years. Instead of worrying about all the problems around you going, will this matter in five years? Will that matter in five years? You know, don't ignore that you have the problems, but focus on the things that you know will matter in five years. You know what I'm saying? If someone wants to like walk out of your life, let them go. Haven't you people ever heard of closing a goddamn door as above, so below, as within, so without? Remember, you can always walk away. The game ends when you stop playing. A lot of mirroring energy going on here. 
feel like someone's coming aware of their manifesting capabilities. It's not about dealing with her when she's happy. It's about being able to deal with her when she is upset. Ain't that the truth? Hail to the king and the queen of the ruckus. Digital justice. It's like playing in the rain while I stand in the desert, but I'm holding you closer than most because you are my heaven. Oh, no, not I. The Encyclopedia on Galactica in its chapter on love states that it is far too complicated to define. The Hitchhiker's Guide says this, avoid if all possible. This is definitely somebody who avoids, I think, love to avoid rocking the ship, right? going on on the 3d 45 day see now because the earth magic card says is there's a need to be vulnerable there's a need to be vulnerable and i think definitely to be open about what these chains are and why they exist right because you'd be angry about you're in chains but nobody's gonna be able to pick the locks and help you escape if you don't tell them that you're in chains you know, sometimes it takes owning the weakness, right? Oh! Yes, I did just catch those with my lips multi-talented here <laughs> see big thighs ain't a problem either but I've never accidentally dropped my phone in the toilet Helga and Thorga got me they got my back man Helga and Olga they were the sisters and uh hey Arnold I don't know if anybody remembers that cartoon. I'm dating myself there. Oh, man. Did it again. All right, we're going to go with this stick today. do this on purpose but we definitely told you just that somebody is coming into manifesting abilities this is upright on my deck over here i don't know if you guys saw how that happened i'm gonna have to really watch this what is it 8 30 and see how that card ended up face up over there for me but this was face up over here right we got somebody i said that was just coming into realizing how much they are actually manifesting for themselves right there's definitely a rite of passage that's gone on here. There's somebody who's still looking towards the past, right? They're regaining, looking towards the past, right? There's a rite of passage. They're still moving forward, right? Regaining balance. I got this equal give and take card, right? I like how she's like not quite corporeal. And I feel like it's like someone who doesn't feel like, I don't know how to say it. Doesn't feel like they're real, right? Feels like people can see through them and they're becoming more corporeal. No, it's a weird message, but look, both of these cards are like this. So finding balance and this, finding that equal give and take, right? Here we go. Got the Jack of Wands here, right? There's definitely a focus of watchfulness of this energy. This is someone who's definitely being pushed by, I feel like, ancestors or spirits around them this is someone standing in you know they give off that vampiric energy you've got the skull there the skeletons and they're in a cemetery right so there's definitely this energy of yeah like they come off as dark but they're actually they are guided by that angelic force right that angelic force is trying to bring together 
um, yeah, not just a couple, but like a team on the 3D. That's what the angelic force is trying to work as a team. Because you can see it's pretty much almost the same angel statue there, the same cemetery angel there. On the 4D, there's a balance coming in. There's definitely justice being um, balanced out here, right? It's the waves back and forth as things settle, right? As they cut cords in certain areas, right? Whose heart is truly light as a feather is really what it boils down to, right? Is your heart as light as a feather, right? Is everything, everything you've done, every move you made with the best of intentions at heart, then you're okay. You did what you were meant to be. There's definitely been a lot of toxic soul connections, but soul connections are important, right? The lesson will stop appearing when you learn it, right? When you learn it. And the, what the lesson here is, what? If you hate yourself, you're going to manifest self-hate around you, right? It gives away all your power, right? Right? You have to break this cycle of failure. And the cycle of failure is assume, assumption of failure. It's that I get... If you've been moving with the, the best of intentions, you're not fated to suffer, Right? I find that, that this, like I said, with this justice card, this is someone who's finally come to the realization of it, right? I think they realize what's been toxic connections that keep them from their, net, their nine of cups, that keep them from feeling their power, and they keep them from breaking these cycles of failure. Right? Okay. You got a king of wands here, right? Upgraded from the Knight of Wands is now the King of Wands. This is the one who is gaining control over things around them. Why? How are they gaining control? What? You have to learn how to focus on them. Two of Cups, important connections, versus just the three cups that you're spilling. You can't keep focusing on the problems all the time and the next problem. You need to start focusing on solutions, right? The lighting is so bad. What is weird, right? I have to figure this out. Anyway. There's a don't focus so much on the problems, right? It's time to start planting those seeds of intentions on the 3D of what you want to manifest forward. Stop worrying about loss. Stop worrying about things that could go wrong. Start focusing your energy towards things that will bring you joy, bring you success, bring you more into life, right? Instead of focusing on everything that's going out the window, right? It's just that really you have to speak it. You have to move it. You have to actually take the steps of what you as you want, right? Where your focus goes, your energy will flow too, right? And it will flow back to you. Talked a lot of smack about food and all this other stuff and working out and everything else like that. And now my niece wants to uh, get me a gym membership so that I can go to the gym with her because she wants to get healthy because she wants to join the Air Force, right? Little things like that. What? You speak certain things in certain directions. You make sure you maintain making moves in certain directions. And the avenues for those certain directions will continue to keep opening up. Right? There's definitely, on the 5D, what is tainting a lot of this energy is negative. Uh, the Emperor's reversed. I know, I know everybody gets so sick of hearing the words, but I pick up a female narcissist energy, right? This is someone who doesn't even really like kids, right? And narcissist, uh, th this is kind of a, a, um, a key thing that can help you ping a narcissist, right? They hate children. They secretly don't like them. Like they don't want nobody to know they don't like kids because they, they know that's weird. They understand that not liking kids is not normal, so they will pretend to like children. But they don't really like them because children are, especially under the age of 10, are narcissistic themselves. And narcissists are jealous of this because they can act like children because that's when you're supposed to act like a child is when you're under the age of 10, right? And you could be a little self-centered. You're learning your own survival skills at this point, right? So you're just picking up what your environment's around you. And narcissists cannot stand how everybody caters to children. You'll go broke for your kids. You'll do all this stuff for your kids. And a narcissist will 
secretly not like your kids or not even like their own children because they feel like they take attention from them they take things that they should be getting they should they should have more and they should be able to get more but they can't because these these inconveniences are around type deal right and they don't like how children get so much attention for not really doing anything they're like oh you know narcissists also uh enjoy manipulating children and using children right i'm saying all this because this is the empress card it's a mother card here that is in reverse there is a definitely a toxic energy of using children manipulating children not even really liking children right energy coming off here that is that toxic two of cups connection there i want some more on that don't you What do we got to deal with this King of Wands and this Reverse Empress? What do they got going on? Yeah, I'm going to do it that way. Let's see what these guys got going on here. definitely got the star card here right someone's definitely feeling a lot of guidance right they're trying to find balance they're trying to find balance amongst lies there's definitely a lot of lying going on here i told you this person is learning really more about manifestation how to be creating new cycles for themselves but unfortunately we got this reverse death card there's something that's not being allowed to die there's something that's not being allowed to die and i get a strong sense of what we have this king of cups here and this nine of pentacles but the way i'm picking it up is with this female here Yeah, where your focus goes. There's a lot of focus on this, right? There's a lot of focus on this. There's someone who's good at, like, manifesting money to themselves. It doesn't necessarily make them a good person. I'm going to say this, too, because this is someone who, what, who likes to, like, create imprisonments. I'm feeling a lot of mental manipulation. I think they are even secretly imprisoned by whatever is going on, and that bothers them, and it manifests out on a way to try to imprison those around them as much as possible. This is definitely a toxic queen of swords here right going with that reversed empress this is someone who is definitely um very manipulative calculating we got the upright high priestess here in a knight of pentacles I like the way that the King of Cups is on this side and the High Priestess is on this side. I feel like there's a lot of learning. Like, I feel like the High Priestess is recognized of this Queen of Swords here, right? I just get the vibe with the High Priestess, especially in this deck. It's just, she's sitting there. Like, it, it's kind of silly. Look, look, look. It kind of looks like my, like my tacky-ass curtain. It doesn't really cover the whole background. <coughs> That's funny. Right? Oh, Knight, the Knight of Pentacles here. I keep telling you that manifesting energy coming back, right? I feel like this one person, the toxic female that they're really dealing with here, the one that's imprisoning a lot of people, it's like they, they have other opportunities around them, but they are so focused on keeping these three cups. They don't want things to change. They don't want to make a decision. Yeah, there we go. Focusing on them three cups again.
terrified of losing these three cups, but not recognizing the two cups behind them, not making a decision. There's a call for strength, right? Oh, yeah. Are you really happy? It's time to take the tiger by the tail, right? Tiger by the tail. I get the, oh, let's get the food imagery with this one, too, right? It's like, what do you got in your mouth? Spit it out type of deal. Yeah, see? You got to get out of this toxic family environment. And the only way to do that is for there to be a total, total tower, right? And you got the Queen of Pentacles over here, right? We got a Queen of Pentacles that really has the solid foundations for a true relationship here, right? But you've got to come out of the cold with this, right? Temperance, the Sagittarius card there, but it's definitely also a calling for. Temperance's definition is stop um, numbing the pain, right? Stop numbing yourself to what's going on. It's time to make focus on whatever it is you want to go, right? Got the lovers here, right? Want to come together. The lovers, we got the King of Wands and the King of Wands, King of Swords, the Magician. This is someone who is learning, like I said, learning to come into power. They're understanding now what the energies are. I'm getting the sense of like a male witch remembering who they are in a sense, right? Or a wizard, whatever you want to call it. We don't use warlocks around here, right? The magician is good at painting the illusion and the illusion is a visualization that leads to reality, right? This is someone who's learning how to focus their passions and their words towards what they want. And what do they want? They want justice. They want to be able to move on. They want this rite of passage to get out of this. They want the Ten of Pentacles. They want the Wheel of Fortune, right? The King of Pentacles wants to be in control, right? They want to be done with this defensive energy. They want to be able to carry. They want to be able to carry their burdens without their burdens being burdens, right? They're done with sipping from every cup, right? They're ready to come out into the sun. Take full control. Take accountability for being stuck. Delivering messages of adjustment. <laughs> Seriously. Delivering judgment, right? And victory over toxic soul connections. Fighting fools, right? This person's going, this person's taking someone else down. And as soon as they take this other person down, they'll be coming for you, right? To celebrate. They feel like they're guided for this. They want to break tradition and start new traditions with you. They see you as the Queen of Cups. It's what they've been manifesting a long time. They're trying to bridge the distance between y'all. They're trying to cut them toxic cords, right? Plant those seeds of intentions. Oh, little bit of thinking with their stick there but they're putting that all together intuition foresight and planning to make moves to come out of the uh hermit mode there is some warning about mind your mouth a little bit here with the knight of swords right i also get the sense that they're not going to be captain save a hoe they're waiting to see if you can save yourself right you have before they want to see if you can kind of get back into your own energy as well right because you've also been defensive you know, even though you've got the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Wands energy here and the defensive energy. So, yes, there's been a bit of toxic sexual feminine energy here. A lot of, uh, well, not, not, I won't say toxic, but definitely defensive and masculine feminine energy here with this deck with her, the short hair there. And then you have the Knight of Wands there as well, right? And a bit of defensiveness on this. And I say defensiveness against toxic sexual energy here you got the upright empress this is someone who's focused on actually being a nurturing person you've got the four of pentacles here figuring out how to create that stability with uh finances and things like that getting over the old battles win or lose right there's still some anxiety that needs to be moved away from there's definitely some words that need to be minded right you need to speak from a place of love if you are going to speak you can't be keeping secrets that's what keeps you wallowing in that ten of swords mode right i've never really done a reading like this before but it's interesting you need to focus on that give and take if you want to find that nine of cups that is the wish fulfillment card and the wish fulfillment card comes when you stop entangling yourself in third party situations right and you stop negatively focusing on teams that have not worked out in the past it's time to work on your own skills and listen to that sword of truth when it is delivered to you all right plus it be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me i love y'all and um i'm gonna be back as soon as i can i promise 
that was definitely interesting today.